but so sad that the whole world, even me, on busy on our day, searching and doing, looking for many things, but not many people will even take a minute to searching and looking for God. That's so sad. That's so sad. Now, I want to go to the scripture with you. The Bible said like this. This is how Jesus taught his disciple. In other words, if, you, if we want to, Jesus trying to teach his disciple and his follower, if you're going to follow me, this is, you have to follow his teaching. Jesus said, why do you worry about your clothes? Why? Jesus even mentioned why you worry so much about many things. What you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, all the stuff. Many things in life. What Jesus tried to tell us, tell his disciples in that day, don't worry about those stuff. Because if we act like that, if we looking for stuff, material stuff like that, we're not a true believer, we're not a true follower of Christ. But Jesus taught his disciple. The first thing that we so concerned that we saw looking for, searching for, is the kingdom of God. The Bible even mentioned, the Bible tells us like this. I want to focus on only one word, the word 33. This is the word of Jesus. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be, be, will be given to you as well. We can do everything on life. You can try to build your life. You can try to make more money and searching for all this stuff in this world. But when you miss the kingdom of God, but when you miss Jesus and you miss everything, that's why Jesus taught his disciples. But first, first of all, number one, seek his kingdom and his righteousness. Seek God first. We heard all the time that we need to put God to be our first priority in life. Everything we do. But many times we miss, we, we try to put everything in order, opposite way. Maybe our, our, our life our job, our family up there. God down here. That's why many things is turned upside down. Because we don't put things in order. First of all, God has to be our number one. Even though the Bible says, seek first. First, number one is not second, it's not third. First is first. Number one is number one. That means God and his kingdom and his righteousness have to be number one. Jesus has to be number one. The Bible didn't say that seek second kingdom or third kingdom, but seek first. That means number one, God first. Why so many people not happy in life? Because they put God on the bottom and everything's up here. I'm so busy and searching and looking to build up my life, to build up my family, all kind of stuff. Forget about God. Forget about church. Forget about his word. Forget about the time that we can have come have intimacy and relationship with Jesus. That's why we never happy in life. You can have all the money in the bank. You can have all material, all the beautiful clothes, nice clothes, whatever it is. But when God is not number one in life, everything that we have, everything that we do is useless. It's meaningless. That's why Jesus tried to taught his disciples. Seek his kingdom. Why his kingdom? Why God's kingdom? You know, even Jesus taught his disciples, may your kingdom come, may your will be done. God want to establish God's kingdom on earth. God want to bring his kingdom on earth. That's why he taught his disciples to seek his kingdom. What, what is what's the kingdom us all about? Why the kingdom of God is so important? Can you click that next line for me? Why the kingdom is so important? Why Jesus taught us and his disciples in 
2,000 years ago to seek his kingdom. This is his kingdom. For the kingdom of God. It's not made about eating or drinking. The kingdom of God, what? It's about righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Spirit. It's about righteousness. It's about peace. It's about joy. It's in his kingdom. Let's 